Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Office Hours with the Professor. I'm your host, William the Professor Collis, and I'm excited to do another deep dive into an esports news story that really caught my interest this week. Now, you might remember if you caught the inaugural episode, I first discussed Riot Games' rebranding and why I thought that was important to the esports industry. In today's episode, I'm actually going to cover a similar type of topic and that I think on the surface, it feels like it's not that big of a deal, but actually underneath the hood, if we dive deeply, we can see that there's a lot of interesting things going on here. So you might say, okay, well, <laughs> what's today's topic? And the answer is it's North Carolina State receiving $16 million in funding to build an esports facility on campus. Why is this one important? Why is it interesting? Come on, how many stadia have I heard being built for X millions of dollars? Why does this matter? And the answer is a couple reasons. First of all, I think it's very reflective of a trend I see right now, which is esports really diving into higher education. Because you have to remember, this isn't some private consortium raising money to build a stadia for public consumption. This is a public university raising 16 million in funds to build esports activations on its campus. This is very much tied to the educational mission of North Carolina State, and it says something about how the state feels students think about learning in esports. So that's the first thing, is it's significant, it highlights a trend that I see. The second element of this is, where is the funding coming from? And this was what really made me want to talk about this story. The funding is coming from the state government. That is pretty incredible if you stop and think about it. Esports has transitioned from some sort of, you know, relatively obscure topic that I cannot imagine a senator or a state government even giving a second glance at to in this case, North Carolina writing $16 million worth of funding for their marquee university to go deep into an esports experience. So again, I think this highlights just as we're not surprised to see football programs or soccer programs or baseball programs funded by state governments. I think going forward, we should not be surprised to see large checks written by states like this. Quite frankly, I sort of think this is the future of a higher education, if you take the first point, and therefore if state governments are involved in higher education, they should be involved in funding esports. So those two points I think were interesting and worth discussing. But the third is how this facility is being built. Because the interesting thing here is the North Carolina folks are sort of referring to it as a laboratory, not just a place to play games on campus, but a facility that can be open to all sorts of different types of students. For example, they talk about crossover with their hospitality management program, presumably to do with tournament activations or esports service training. That's different than just, hey, I'm putting in a computer lab with a bunch of gaming PCs. I thought these three points, the fact that esports is gaining traction in higher education, the fact that funding is coming from state universities, and the fact that the type of build out here seems reflective of a more organic approach to esports, not just competitive only, but really setting esports up as an element of life on campus and crossing over with educational experiences therein, really appealed to me. And I, I think that's why when I grade this story, I want to give it an A+. And, and I know that sounds crazy, but I'm the professor. I love esports and higher education. I teach esports at universities, so I might have a little bit of a bias here. But fundamentally, I think this is just really great news. It's reflective of what I see as an industry shift towards more happening at colleges and universities and competitive gaming. And that industry shift being about crossover with the classroom. If you're watching this and you're a current student at a university or a college, I think you can look forward to more opportunities like this coming. I think the NC deal will likely cascade other state universities to at least look at this and many will follow suit. I think if you're you know, somebody who's past college or university, maybe an alumni, which I'm guessing a lot of people who watch this podcast are alumni of a university or college somewhere, I think this is a great opportunity to think about how your school might be transforming to offer esports. 
and how you might want to get involved. I don't think we're going that far away from dedicated alumni gift giving to esports facilities and raises in that avenue. It's a really exciting moment for anyone who's sort of touched by higher education to think about, look, this is a different, this is the sport of the future coming in here. And we're seeing it getting baked in. And in this case, we're seeing it baked in at a $16 million check size from a state government. That is just awesome. I'm really excited to see the momentum in higher education esports cascade throughout 2020. So thanks for joining this Office Hours, and I'll see you again next week.